Is this the sound of dire wolves heard once again after more than 12,000 years of extinction? Well, no. These are gray wolves that were genetically modified by the Dallas-based biotech company Colossal Biosciences. The researchers used DNA from ancient tooth and bone fossils of dire wolves. But dire wolves themselves are still extinct. So what happened in that lab? Dire wolves are a large extinct species of canine native to the Americas that preyed on large mammals thousands of years ago. The scientists at Colossal used CRISPR, a tool for editing DNA, to insert DNA from dire wolves into the cells of gray wolves. Then they implanted the living wolf embryos into domestic dogs. So how different are these pups from dire wolves? Consider humans and chimpanzees. Their DNA is about 98.8% the same, but were obviously different from chimps. Likewise, these pups share DNA with dire wolves, but they're not dire wolves. Timothy Hearn is a lecturer at Anglia Ruskin University in the UK. He's an expert in bioinformatics, the science of collecting and analyzing complex biological data, such as genetic codes. He wrote about the birth of these pups for the nonprofit media outlet called The Conversation. And he said these pups don't represent the return of an extinct species. Instead, he said, the work of colossal biosciences is a demonstration of how far we've come in learning to build new biological systems or to redesign existing ones. At the same time, Hearn said, the work is a reminder of how far we still are from truly reversing extinction. Plus, many questions remain. If released into the wild, what role would these new animals play? Would they act in some ways like dire wolves? And should scientists spend their time working with the resurrection of extinct species at all? Or should we spend our time and resources to save threatened ones and restore their habitats? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. As Hearn says, in the end, it's not about whether we can bring back the dead, it's about what we do with the power to remake the living.